really the outperformance of the uh, private markets versus the public markets that's uh, attracting more and more capital into the private markets. When we're putting something into our portfolio, we sort of go through a three-step process. everyone welcome to another executive interview today we have a guest returning so we have the pleasure of speaking again with Cameron Blanks managing director at Pacific Equity Partners Australia and New Zealand's leading private markets investor Cameron thank you for joining me yeah thank you for inviting me back with them absolutely now Cameron as a long-standing member of PEP a leading private markets investor in Australia could you please elaborate on the growth of the private markets during your tenure there yeah, so if you go back uh, you know, to 2010, uh, the uh, private markets globally were about two and a half trillion. Winding forward 15 years, we're now sitting at about 12 and a half trillion. So there's been significant growth uh, in the market over the last 15 years, sort of averaging in the low uh, double digits uh, compound annual growth. So it's quite significant, uh, the growth in the private markets. Amazing. That's wonderful to hear, Cameron. Now, looking ahead, do you foresee continued growth in the global private equity landscape? Uh, absolutely. I think ever it's pretty clear that uh, that growth is going to continue in that double digit uh, space. So I think all the projections are that uh, the private markets will represent a $30 trillion asset class globally. And that really is... Um, you know, growing much, much faster than the public markets. And, uh, you know, as you're understanding, uh, companies are staying private longer. Uh, a lot of companies are going private off the uh, public exchange. There's just not the need for uh, companies to um, access the public markets for capital. They can now access that capital uh, within the private markets. Yeah, definitely. Can you, like for our audience members, can you explain what factors are actually driving this growth and how the private markets are performing in comparison to the public market? Yeah, it's really the outperformance of the uh, private markets versus the public markets that's uh, attracting more and more capital into the private markets. And we, we at uh, PEP put that down to, you know, a much closer partnership with uh, management between the private equity uh, fund managers and the, the management team of, of the company. So, um, you know, from a governance perspective, we can you know, have a much more active uh, hands-on uh, partnership with the leadership teams of the, uh, the various different companies uh, that are owned in the private markets. And it's really that, uh, you know, much closer governance that we think drives the superior returns, which in turn obviously attracts the capital into the asset class. Yeah, absolutely. Now, with that context, can you tell us how does PEP Gateway actually enable individual wholesale investors to capitalize on the opportunities that are within the private markets? Yeah, so if you go back, uh, traditionally, the private markets and, and private equity specifically was uh, set up as an institutional investor uh, proposition. So the way that uh, all the structures uh, were put together were to suit in institutional investors. You know, things like um, you know, having capital available within 10 days with long lockup periods, um, like 10 year lockup uh, where people couldn't, uh, investors couldn't get their money um, and then at very high minimums. All of those things were a real barrier uh, to individual investors uh, getting access to the private markets. Mm -hmm. um, so what we've done, and, and there are other private equity firms um, that are, are doing this as well is packaging up, uh, you know, great all-star assets in the, uh, in the private markets uh, into an open-ended evergreen structure where investors can come in and out on a monthly basis, uh, which really uh, at a much lower minimum. So it addresses a lot of the barriers to entry for individual investors that used to exist, you know, with institutional products. So. Um, you know, we call it our PEP Gateway uh, program and uh, you know, it really is available for investors at a, a relatively low minimum at uh, $50,000. Uh, Amazing. Now, diversification is a significant aspect of the PEP Gateway Access Fund. So can you tell us how does PEP actually ensure a well-diversified portfolio and what measures are in place to manage the risks that are associated with the global private equity investments? Yeah, so um, when we're putting something into our portfolio, we sort of go through a three-step process. So first off, we're only investing uh, in uh, private equity managers like ourselves that have been around for 25 plus years who have a lot of assets under management, have long tenured teams uh, with very well-developed processes and very good track records. So we're really just investing behind 
you know, the best uh, private equity managers in the world. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we're doing is we're selecting their trophy assets um, and we're investing alongside those managers, uh, including ourselves into those uh, trophy assets. Um, and then we do, uh, as a third step, obviously, we do very detailed due diligence on every one of the assets uh, that comes into the portfolio. So we end up with a quite a diversified portfolio of uh, all-star assets in the Gateway Fund uh, with diversity across manager, across geography and across sector. So it's a very diverse uh, portfolio for investors. And that's really what manages uh, the risk in the portfolio is that diversity. Yeah, definitely. Well, those were, were some very valuable insights that you shared about the private markets and the opportunities available at BEP as well. So thank you so much for that, Cameron. Yeah, for anyone uh, watching this interview, if you would like to get in touch with the team, please see the details on the side of your screen or in the description of this video. Once again, thank you, Cameron. Yeah, thank you very much, Ruben.